Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. More Psalm 82, and I'm going to look at the verses I looked at yesterday. Let's do this again. It's verses 6 and 7. I said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fail like one of the princes. Now, I covered the whole part about you shall die like men yesterday, and I mentioned the whole you are gods debate. Didn't get into it. Mentioned the all of you are children of the Most High question. Didn't get into that. And so, essentially, I looked at these verses, and I ignored two things, and I talked about one thing. Um, that almost sounds a little unfair, kind of like, okay, well, where's, where's the rest of the exposition? Where's the rest of the explanation? What are we supposed to make out of these verses? And what I want to give to you today is a very vital key to Bible study. This is very, I found this to be absolutely crucial in my own personal spiritual walk in my own study of the Word of God, there you're going to read some things that you're simply not going to get. You're not going to understand them. There are explanations. They do make sense. And at the exact same time, throughout your entire life, there are going to be verses where you thought it meant one thing, then come down the road, you, you continue your study, you continue your thinking, pondering, praying, and you're going to be like, you know, that means something else entirely different. There are going to be other things in your life where it's never going to fully make sense. You're never really going to get it. And you've got to come to a point where you're okay with that. The Word of God, we've got to keep in mind, it was written for us. It was written in a way we can understand. It was also written in a way to be a very comprehensive guide, you could say, to this life. It addresses almost everything that we could possibly wonder or ask about in regards to the nature of the way this world works, what we should and shouldn't do. There are a few small examples where I think the Bible does not address them, at least not in their entirety, and that will require a personal thought, a personal journey, and a personal prayer time on our own individual selves. And I also think that was by design. God doesn't want to simply be like, okay, here's everything you should do, everything you shouldn't do. I'm including every small detail, all the minutia. You know, here's what you need to do and here's what you don't need to do. If it was simply a rule book, there wouldn't be a relationship between us and him. And being a Christian is a very personal thing. Yes, it is. I have no problem using the word religion. Um, Christianity is a religion. It worships a specific God. It has a holy book. At the same time, I understand why some Christians say it's a relationship, not a religion. Because my relationship with Jesus Christ, I'm not just worshiping some far off thing way out there about 2,000 years ago in the past. There was this great Jewish dude. Apparently he was God in the flesh. I worship a Jesus who hears me the minute I pray, who helps me the minute I'm in trouble, who guides me, who talks to me, whose presence I can feel. I told you guys I'm one of those crazy charismatics. Um, so my experience with Jesus could even be described as mystical at times. And I know some the, your mileage may vary uh, depending on you know how you've been raised and what you believe. But regardless of how you dice it up, where I'm right, where I'm wrong, where you're right, where you're wrong. It is a relationship, and it's very, very personal. It's not just an instruction manual. It's a, it's a love letter. And so because each of us are on our own journeys, there are going to be some things that speak to us very strongly. There are going to be some things that speak to us a little bit. There are going to be some things that are hard to understand, and there are going to be some things that we just don't get at all, and we've got to be okay with all of that as we study the Word of God. You've got to be okay with all of it. I feel like I've arrived at many, many, many conclusions. I've learned a lot over my past. I've been a Christian for 23 years now. I'm 36. became a Christian at 13. 23 years, the majority of my life, I've been a Christian, which I'm very thankful for. I think that's awesome. At the exact same time, not everyone is where I'm at. Not everyone thinks exactly the way I do. And certainly no one out there. Um, has had my experiences exactly in life. There are going to be differences. There are going to be subtleties. There are going to be things that I get that you don't. There are going to be things that you get that I don't. 
and we've got to be okay with that. I can't really say that enough. We're not always going to agree. We're not always going to get it. And we need to be okay with all of that. Otherwise, our relationship with God, our understanding of the Word of God, and our relationship with each other is going to be strained and hurt. Maybe even possibly broken. So um, again, this was, not a, this was not me attempting to explain either of those things. I went into the details in yesterday's video. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But I didn't like thoroughly explain what they meant. I'm not going to do that today either. Today's point was there are going to be things that we don't know in detail as we read the Word of God. This is just, these are two examples. They're, they're tightly knit together. They're both in one verse. But there are many other places in the Word of God that we're simply not going to just, oh, I got it. That makes perfect sense. There are going to be many places that are not like that, and we need to be okay with it. Have you memorized that phrase yet? You need to be okay with it? Have I said that enough? Let me say it one more time. There are going to be things in the Bible you're not going to get. They're not going to be completely clear, and you need to be okay with that to continue your studies of the Bible. So hopefully this was helpful. I wish, I feel like I may or may not have touched on that in some previous message. I wish someone could have told me that early on in my Christianity. I think it would have saved me quite a bit of heartache and problems that I experienced. So here I am giving it to you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I love you and God bless.